Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my mole. You're going to first need some chicken thighs, one whole onion, two tomatoes, your tomato can sauce, your Doña Maria mole sauce, your comino, some consomme de tomate, and some salt, your chile de arbol, your chile guajillo, and of course your choice of rice. Now, of course, you're going to start by getting a big enough pot to uh, make sure that all your chicken is going to fit and you're going to fill it with water. You're going to start boiling the water and I am going to first rinse all my chicken. Now you're going to grab your whole onion, you're going to want to cut it in halves and you're going to add one of the halves into your boiling water and the other halves you're going to save it because you're going to be using it for your chile. You are going to add some salt into your boiling water and some garlic powder. And here you're going to see that I am going to cut some of the skin off from the chicken. You can take off the skin completely if you like, but I like to keep some of the skin just because I feel as if it gives it a better taste, a better flavor. It's kind of like when you eat the fat off of the steak and it just makes it taste better to me at least. So here you're going to see that I did take out some water because I ended up putting too much water. And the clock does say that I added 45 minutes into my timer, but I actually ended up cooking the chicken for about um, an hour. And I'm just gonna add two tomatoes for my chile, one onion of the half of the other one that we say. I don't want to touch the chile with my bare hands. Well, I still am, obviously, but this is kind of like the cheating method. I don't want to touch too much chile, and then I end up touching my newborn's face on accident or something because this chile will burn your fingers, even after you wash 20 times. Trust me, this will stay on your fingers. And here you're going to need a big enough pot to 
um, hold all your chili and your chicken because you are going to be transferring all your chicken into this big pot and here you're going to how do you say it I don't know how to say it in Spanish but you're going to make sure that you get a strainer and you're going to strain all that chili make sure that you don't have big chunks of chili into your mole now with the chicken all the juice from the chicken the caldo you're going to want to save all that because you are going to be using it for your rice and you're going to be using it for your mole instead of using just plain water from um, bottled water or from the tap you can use the caldo from the chicken and you are going to be now adding your mole sauce into your pan I'm sorry if there's a lot of noise in the back because I am washing and drying and my girls are playing You're going to want to add salt to your liking. You're going to taste it. Some comino and the consomme de tomate. But make sure that you are tasting it as you go. Don't over, don't overdo the salt. However much salt that you like. Girl! <laughs> However much salt that you like, you're going to obviously taste as you go. Now you are going to be transferring your chicken to your mole pot and you're going to make sure that you cover all of your um, chicken with mole. Okay, so I wasn't sure if I should show you guys the way that I make my rice. But you're going to want to um, make sure that all the oil is around the pan. You're going to add as much rice as you want. And you're going to let it brown. Make sure it looks like this kind of brown. And you're just going to be adding your tomato can sauce. And mixing it around. And again with that same caldo from the chicken you're going to add into your rice Okay, what, what would you rate it? 9.7. Wow, okay. It's a good 9.7. That's because you don't like mole, huh? I hate mole. 
But this is actually really good. Really. <laughs> really good. Make sure if you guys do make my mullet to tag me because I want to see how your mullet turned out. Please like and subscribe. Bye guys.